If someone had told me when I was first learning guitar that I could play Johnny Be Good with one finger in around about 10 minutes, then I would have been incredibly excited. And that's what I want to offer you guys today. So go grab your guitar, even if you're a total beginner, and I'm gonna show you how we can jam together and play this song in around about 10 minutes. Electric or acoustic guitar is totally fine. This is gonna work exactly the same on both. And all we're gonna be doing is playing one finger power chords. Now, what is a power chord? You may have come across some easy beginner chords like E major, or A major so far, but when we play the power chord versions of these chords, we only need to use one finger when we're playing the E, what we call an E5, the A5, and the D5. And those are the three chords that we're gonna be using. We're gonna then look at how we can add this blues riff that Marty talked about, the blues riff, to play Johnny Be Good. Now that is a little bit more advanced, but we will be covering it by the end of this video. And I also have a full tutorial for all the Swanky Pants lead guitar parts. Uh, that one's just up here. You can check it out on YouTube or on my website, andyguitar.co.uk. So these three chords again are the E5, where we have our first finger on the second fret of the A string, and we strum the thickest two strings. We then have the A power chord, or the A5, which is the technical name for it, which is just all the same things, but a string down. String five and four played together, first finger, second fret of the fourth string. Move everything down one more time, and that's our final chord, the D5 or the D power chord, middle two strings, first finger, second fret, string three. Once we know those chords, we need to know how to play a 12 bar blues. In this case, we're going for a 12 bar blues in the key of A, which is this. We can then use our capo, if you have one. We would still just be using the E, the A, and the D chords, E5, A5, and D5. And the capo puts it to the key of B flat, which is the actual key of Johnny B. Good. No matter what version you're going for, it's typically in the key of B flat, not the key of B, Marty McFly. What were you talking about? Blues riff in B. It's a blues riff in B flat. We'll take the capo off for now, just so that everyone can play along to this, whether you have a capo or not. And the main focus of this tutorial is to get you playing along with me. So we need this chord progression where we play four bars of the A chord. We're then gonna play the D chord for two bars and come back to the A for two bars, E for two bars, a for two bars. That's the whole song, okay? And in each bar, we're gonna start off by just strumming on the beat. So every bar of A, which looks like this, we strum one, two, three, four. Four bars of A is therefore one, two, three, four. Two bars of A, three bars of A, four bars of A. The two bars of D, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Back to the A. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then to the E major. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you guessed it, back to the A. For another two bars. One, two, three, four. And then it would just repeat again. Now that might not sound too much like However, that is all the rhythm parts that we would need to be able to play the chords to this song, the rhythm parts. And then the electric guitar parts or the faster parts are over the top. They're the lead guitar parts and we're learning to the rhythm. As I say, those lead guitar parts are all taught in my separate tutorial where I use a big red guitar to be able to play just like Marty McFly. So let's just play these one finger chords in this order and then we play them in a loop. I'll sing some of the loops over the top so you can see how it goes and then we'll look at how we can make this a bit more advanced and look at the blues riff and adding lots of cool stuff, okay? But join in with me with this first of all. Playing together and joining in is so important, especially in the early days, but at all levels of guitar. So put your first finger on the second fret of the fourth string. We're gonna play that A power chord. 
You can learn more about power chords in my other tutorials, which I'll link to on the screen if you need more help. But let's have a look at how we can play this. Join in with me if you can. In one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then to the D. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and A. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. E. One, two, three, four. A. We repeat all of that again. Here we go. Way down in Louisiana, down in New Orleans. Way back up in the woods of my... And we changed to the D. There stood a light cat made of earth and wood. Where lived a country boy named Johnny B. Good. Who never ever learned to read or write so well. That's the end of our chord progression. We start it again now. Go, go, two, three, four. Go, Johnny, go, go. Go Johnny, change to D Go Johnny, go, go Go Johnny, go, go, go Johnny, be good One, two, three, and pause there Fantastic work, if you could join in with me there, that is brilliant and we can progress on to the next bit. If you need to pause it, if you need to re-watch that a few times to get it, if you need to watch this video again a couple of times, I totally get it. Learning the guitar as a beginner is not easy and the basics are sometimes the hardest thing to get down just because it's new. But what we're going to look at now is this blues riff that Marty talks about. And uh, if you need more help with the 12 bar blues and stuff like that, I will link some tutorials that are really of help for you. But what we're gonna learn is this. It's really exciting. It's the blues riff. It's this, okay? And we do that for every chord and uh, for every bar, for one bar of this, it is one and two and three and four and. Now there's a more basic step to this which I teach in my beginners course which is just playing one strum just on the beat as we have done. So this would be, we need our first finger or the second fret as it has done and then either our third or our little finger down. One, two, three, four or one, two, three, four. Either is totally fine, whichever seems more comfortable to you. So you've got two options from now on. You've got the easier option, one, two, three, four, per bar, or one, and two, and three, and four, and. Well, both of those options, the left hand's totally the same, the chord playing hand, it's the strumming hand that does a bit more work on the harder option. Those two options again, per four bars this time. One, two, Or the harder option, one, two, three, four. Here we go. First of all, though, I'm going to demo this just with strumming on the beat, and then we'll add the more complex one after that. So easy one first, harder one after that. Here we go. Join in with me if you can, or you can join in on the next round. It's totally cool. Starting with the easy one in one, two, three, four. Down a string Back to the A Then to E And then the A Let's keep that going with some lyrics Deep down Louisiana, close to New Orleans Way back up in the woods among the evergreens There stood a log cabin made of earth and wood Where lived a country boy named Johnny B. Good Who never ever learned to read or write so well But he could play a guitar just like a ring in a bell Go, go, go Johnny, go, go Go Johnny, go, go, go Go Johnny, go, go Go Johnny, go, go Johnny, be good 
Let's pause there for one second because if you can do that, you can jam along to Johnny Be Good, the original recording, or the Back to the Future Marty McFly version. But what you will need is a capo. So I'm just going to put my capo on the first fret, and then what we do is move everything we've done just up by one fret. All the same stuff, it will feel exactly the same, but we're going to do it on these two dots here. I've got one dot here, one dot here. Even easier, the capo holds everything down just a little bit closer to the fretboard and makes it a little easier to play. Let's jump back in from verse 2 and we're going to be playing with a more advanced version. Still beginner friendly, but we're going for this way of playing it. Notice I've now got my thumb over the top just muting that top string and my first finger is muting all the others so I don't even have to think about which strings I'm playing. If we have this, this kind of muting correctly, which I talk about in my beginner's course videos at level 3. So uh, that's something to check out if you enjoy this. From verse 2, I'm going to be demoing the, with the harder one. Do the easier one if you wish. Join in with me in 2, 3. He used to carry his guitar in a gunny sack. Go sit beneath the tree by the railroad track. All the engineer could see him sitting in the shade Strumming to the rhythm that the drivers made And the people passing by, they would stop and say Oh my, that little country boy sure could play Go, go, go Johnny, go, go Go Johnny, go, go, go Go Johnny, go, go Go Johnny, go, go, go Johnny, be good So there we go guys, that is how to play Johnny Be Good. If you want some more help, check out how to play the 12 bar blues in the key of A on the screen now. And check out more videos from my beginner's course to learn these kind of basic skills. I wish you all the best with your guitar journey. Take care of yourselves and jam along to recordings if you can. And jam along to people in videos. It will make you a better guitar player even as a beginner.